Well guys, it is that time again. We are getting ready for a goat birth. I'm so glad we bred Hazel all the way back in May because that means we get to have babies in October. Now, if you remember, Hazel is my friend's goat. My friend, they had to move away from their farm, but they were hoping they'd be able to move back. Unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. So Hazel has been at our place and we knew that she would probably be here all the way until she delivered her babies. Then after that, we're gonna have to talk to the owner and decide what to do. So Hazel's got a cute story. She comes from a Nubian farm. Hazel was their only Nigerian dwarf, the little miniature goats, and Hazel was their daughter's goat and she used to show her um, at the state fair. So she's a really sweet goat and she was raised by this cute little three-year-old girl. <laughs> so our hope is that they will be able to get Hazel back but for now, we're just taking care of her and treating her like one of our own. So we bred Hazel with Zorro back in May and she had her whole pregnancy during the summer. She never really grew that big. So when I did a second ultrasound, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's just one in there, which is fine. That's fine, that's cool. She had her first baby last year and it was just one as well. So it'll be sort of interesting um, to see if she really does have just a singleton again this year. And now as she nears towards the end of her pregnancy, I know she looks tiny, <laughs> she just has one. Uh, we're gonna check for the tail ligaments, which if you go really lightly along the spine, sort of scratch her, and you get right to about, right to about here, you'll feel these little pencil ligaments on each side. And as long as I feel those, we're still, you know, at least a couple days away. Once those go away, then we've got about 24 hours till delivery. So what we do when a goat is almost close to delivering is we do a lot of prep work. So a few weeks ago, we gave Hazel her CD and T vaccination. We give this before the mama delivers so that the babies can have a little bit of antibodies through passive immunity before they get their own shot at eight weeks and 12 weeks. So Hazel's already had that. Next is I finally shaved Hazel's udder and backside. And we do this because, well, we want the area to be nice and clean because there is a lot of afterbirth. We gotta make sure that it doesn't stick to her backside and become painful and get all mixed in and dried up with the hair on her backside. And I bet you didn't think that you would be watching me shave a goat backside today, but that's always a good sign though because that means we have babies coming so if somebody comes up to you right now they're gonna really wonder what's wrong with you because you're watching <laughs> somebody shave a goat backside but just tell them no 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 this is really exciting because this means babies are coming I also gave Hazel her dose of selenium and vitamin E which helps during delivery make sure that the baby's not deficient when the baby's born a selenium deficiency is what happened to Tilly's baby hope when hope was born remember when hope and Fern were born. So that's why now I'm really good at preventing it by making sure that the mama has plenty of selenium before she even delivers. So next up is uh, to clean up the birthing stall in the goat pen and um, that's Kevin's job. So it's time for Kevin's craft. <laughs> screws anyway. Jeez Louise. Kevin's building me another hay feeder, just a smaller version of the one we have over by the milking station. And he ran out of screws, so guess what he's doing? I'm not even kidding you right now. He is unscrewing screws from the deck to use. Look at that. <laughs> Even Salem thinks it's a bit weird, huh? One of the worst things is when you're in the middle of a project and you need to run to the hardware store. So Kevin's just gonna steal screws from somewhere else. But I'm really excited because I used to use those net hay feeders and I got worried that they might get their feet stuck in them. 
don't want to deal with any broken legs. So it fits right on the end here. It's perfect to fit one flake of hay. And then at the bottom here, he's going to make a little, little trough for pellets or grain. And then we'll use this little thing as their mineral feeder. You got your screws? Screws. Are we gonna fall through the deck now? Is it just gonna <laughs> fall apart? The deck has so many screws, it can last for a couple hours till I replace them. Okay. Look, Kevin, Olive is on the stump and Willow is like, <laughs> this is Ooh, mine. Wow. What are you doing here? Look at that. Oh, she got on. She's half on. Push her off, Willow. Be aggressive. Willow's too aggressive. sweet. <laughs> aggressive. Willow's too sweet of a goat. You gotta be aggressive, Willow, if you want the stump. Okay, all done. It looks really good. All right, so a lot of you have asked how to make these, so we're gonna put it on the website. But basically, you just use goat goat fencing because they're smart noses fit smartly <laughs> into there. Okay. And then you have a, a poop bar. And so it's basically just two feet and then you can make it as long as you want. But about two feet is what we've found goat fencing. And so. This is the poop bar just meaning that they can't back up into it. <clears throat> yeah. Because they, they, yeah, they back up and then they poop right in yeah. their feeder. Not on purpose, but they just kind of do all that. Day, all day long. They scratch their sides, scratch their backs, and then they just poop right in there. Yeah. So you have to have a poop bar. And that looks so good. About two feet of goat fencing. I like it. You figured out the conundrum of goat feeders. Yes. All right. Looks good. When it's time to put Hazel in here, we'll give her a water bucket right here, fill the mineral bins, and then put some alfalfa up here and pellets and grain. It should be good. So if you've been following us for a long time, you're probably used to seeing me bring out the birthing supplies in a laundry basket, but I finally last year upgraded to a car organizer. I got on Amazon and I ended up never using it for the car, so now we use it for goat birthing supplies. So I just gotta go through this and make sure I have everything I need. I think, I think last year I put it in order of like emergencies. <laughs> so this was like if we have to pull a baby, if we have to stick our hand in there, which I never usually have to go in um, too far in. Sometimes I have to pull, but this is something I made myself. I use these images from online of the different birth presentations just to remind myself in the heat of the moment what I should be feeling for. It's on my website, so you can go print it up, and I linked to the different illustrators that I used so I could give them credit. But yeah, I just went and printed this up because I want it, and I had it laminated, so I could use it for years and years. So that isn't super necessary unless we have an emergency. This is for taking temperatures. If I need to have a little glove to do that. This is for after the baby's born. We've got some betadine swabs, some scissors to cut the umbilical cords. This is to just get out any mucus in the nostrils there. This stuff is any support for mama. So we've got some drench, which is good to give after they deliver, gives them lots of vitamins and minerals. This is just calcium if I need to speed things up. Cayenne pepper if I have a slow baby. Some more selenium and vitamin E if the baby seems deficient in that. So actually, guys, that goes right there. Okay, this is checking the mama. This is when the babies are born. This is any kind of nutritional support, and this is emergency box. I'll also be bringing out some towels and a few other little things, but honestly, goats do just fine and hardly need any intervention at all. I just like to be prepared. So now we wait and I could absolutely be wrong on the due dates because Hazel was due, I put as the earliest being September 25th. Obviously that's already passed, so I'm thinking more October 5th. I don't know, it, it might go a little longer than we think. We'll just have to wait. See, Lydia? Oh my gosh. Do you love it? I love it so much. Probably even more than Hazel's going to. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. 
You like it? It's perfect though. No. Uh, no. <laughs> so I've been checking her ligaments all day. They're still there. They're a little bit, little bit bouncy, but they're still there. And her udder. Her udder does look a little more filled up. Yeah, it is. Definitely. It's filling up, but it's not like bulging and popped yet you know i don't know how long it's gonna be hopefully this weekend and um if not then in the week <laughs> well the kids haven't been in this video a lot because it's been a very busy week at school and in their activities so i'm excited because next week is fall break and they get to be home hopefully we can have lots of playing with baby goats and a nice little break from the crazy of school and um life when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and I the future is bright. okay guys so everything that you've watched so far has been what's been happening over the last few days and I had more to add to this video but today is Friday video is due and Hazel is now in labor see she's licking me are you licking me I'm not your baby she is such a good mom, so I'm really excited to see how she does with her new baby. So, here's the plan. I'm gonna put up this video today, showing you sort of the prep as we get ready, and then when she delivers, I'll put up an extra video pretty much the day of or the day after, depending on how late she delivers. So you won't have to wait all the way till next Friday. Hopefully she delivers today. Today is Friday, uh, hopefully before the night. <laughs> and then uh, maybe I'll put up a video tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday it just depends on when she delivers if she takes a few days to deliver then it'll take me a few more days you know to get that video up but my priority is to show you guys so just hold off and wait if you want to see little sneak peeks or updates you can follow me on Instagram and I'm excited I'm excited we're gonna have babies baby soon so as you saw in the video yesterday I noticed her ligaments getting softer but not completely gone this morning I noticed they were completely gone and her udder sort of popped got significantly bigger overnight that tells us she's 24 hours within delivery so it could be in the next few hours or it could be a whole 24 hours away like tomorrow morning or something also going off a doe's behavior is really important because she is a quiet goat but she's being loud right now so that tells me something's up she's she feels something happening and um, her behavior is different than what it normally is. Now we're just watching her like a hawk waiting for her to start pushing or to see a little bit of mucus or maybe a bubble which indicates that the birthing sac is coming soon. So hope you guys have a good Friday and um, if you want to watch any of our past deliveries you can go watch them here. In the meantime I'm going to be in the barn with Hazel here and hopefully we have babies today.